to go next. And it is not Animal Kingdom or Epcot. <laughs> Surprise! Okay, so, some of you are going to be happy with this. Some of you are not going to be happy with this. I get it. Um, I'm called Fresh Baked WDW. Why the heck am I at Universal Orlando? Well, there's a very good reason for that. Um, if I ever think of it, I'll tell you the reason. <laughs> no, basically, I mean, here's the thing. If I, I believe that coming to Florida and visiting Disney is a little bit different than going to California and visiting Disneyland because uh, Orlando, or uh, Orlando, Universal Orlando is literally like 15 minutes away from Disney World. I actually now live closer to the Universal Parks, because there's two parks, Universal Orlando and Islands of Adventure, and I live closer to those parks than I do to Disney. So, I figure if people are gonna go to visit Walt Disney World, especially after, you know, some of the comments I'm seeing, you know, people are doing it after looking at some of my, my vlogs, I'm like, well, you know what, why don't I just bite the bullet and just show them Universal? because you are probably gonna end up here. Let's be real. As you guys know, I've said it a lot in live streams and Twitter and things like that. Um, you can't film nothing. <laughs> and I mean nothing. Uh, you're, not, you're not allowed to film anything, any of the rides. Shows and stuff, sure, that's okay. Walking around the parks, that's okay. You can film that, but you cannot film the rides. So, it's gonna be an interesting little trip. And that's that's why I wanted to include this in um, this week's trip report rather than, rather than just, wow, that's loud music. Rather than make my own, you know, separate trip report for Universal. Because I really don't feel there's enough here to show you and experience to get, you know, the, three hours worth of footage that I typically need to gather for Dave to edit down. Um, it's just, it won't happen. So, maybe it would, I don't know. Maybe if I took my time and shopped, I could do it, but I figure this way, we'll just do a little test. We'll let you guys look at it, let you see what there is to see here, show you at least all the, the cool e-ticket stuff, quote unquote e-ticket stuff and uh, let you guys decide if you want to see more. So definitely tell me in the comments below if you want to see more Universal or if you just want me to stick with Disney. So I can do that. And in fact, something I'm thinking about doing, kind of toying with the idea, is maybe um, doing my own channel for non-Disney stuff. So showing Universal, showing other tourist attractions here in Florida. I don't know. I haven't much thought about it. I've just barely tinkered with the idea. Look, there's the globe. So, anyway, that's, uh, that's my thoughts. That's why I'm doing this. I know this isn't going to be the most popular thing, but the bottom line is, it's a theme park, and whether, I, I mean, everyone's going to have their strong opinions as What's better, Disney or Universal? I, of course, personally think Disney is much better, um, especially than this Universal. Ooh, E.T. <laughs> Ouch. But here's the thing. So I'm not gonna do a full, like, complete walkthrough. Uh, I won't be doing that. I will show you, you know, I'll push in on some stuff from the street, like as you can see right there, that's the Terminator 2 3D show building. And I will never do that again. <laughs> Here, because last time I did it, the, the acting was terrible. Good Lord, it was bad. Like so bad. And it's an old show, don't get me wrong. But, whoo, hello kitty. <laughs> um, it, yeah, the acting was terrible, and you guys, the 3D is so old and out of date, and the screen was ripped and torn, and it, it was just, it was abysmal. 
so I'll never do that again. But uh, check this out, you guys. This is definitely one of the most popular rides here. Despicable Me, Minion Mayhem. 90 minutes, <laughs> as you can tell. Oh, now I will say this. Here's what's cool about Universal. One of the, one of the many things, but um, one of my favorite things, since I go to the parks so often by myself, is just about every ride has single rider. Wow, that's loud. Look at the Shrek show building. That's so fun. Speaking of old 3D shows, <laughs> I, uh, I actually haven't even done Shrek 4D here. I've done it at, in uh, Hollywood, but yeah. So anyway, um, just about everything has single rider lines here, which is really cool. Because if you go to the parks by yourself, or you don't want to wait, you know, a ridiculously long, like 90 minutes in line, just do single rider. And you can even do it with your family. You won't sit together, but uh, yeah, it's, it's good to do. Now check this out. That being said, this is one of the rides that does have single rider. This roller coaster, you guys, is a lot of fun. I'm gonna stand right here and I'm gonna wait for it to, to go up here. So this is Rip Ride Rocket. Look at this. You're literally on your back as you go up and up. And it's really cool. You can choose your own music soundtrack from like all sorts of different genres of music. Watch this. Watch what it does on the loop. Whoop! <laughs> oh, that's a fun ride. And then, um, so you choose your own soundtrack. You got to do it in like two seconds because it changes pretty quick. And then once, uh, once you do, there is a video embedded into the ride itself. So right in front of you. So it films you on the ride. It films video of your face and your reactions and stuff. It's a cool roller coaster. I like it a lot. Um, I'm about the biggest you can, you can be and ride it comfortably, I think. Um, but it's not very comfortable for me, so I don't ride it too much. It's, it's tight. <laughs> it's tight. And I'm not even, I mean, I'm not like morbidly obese or anything, but I mean, I'm, you know, I'm a big guy, but, um, yeah, it's, it's big, you guys, or it's, it's tight. It's tight. Look at this. Look, we got Beetlejuice. Hey, your brother thinks we're oh, my God. <laughs> That's actually a really good Beetlejuice. <laughs> Um, I don't know what this is. I know it's a big outdoor automa uh, automatorium, auditorium for, I think like concerts and stuff, but I don't know. I'm not too sure. Now, I told you one of the plus sides of Universal and that you can do single rider. Here is a downside. And this is a downside to me. Obviously, I would think most of the world's population is gonna disagree with me here because Universal is probably smarter business sense than I am. But most of the rides here are motion simulators, much like uh, like Star Tours, including Despicable Me, the, the minion ride back there. That's a motion simulator. The brand new ride, Race Through New York with Jimmy Fallon, that's a motion simulator and actually a terrible ride, I believe. That's my opinion. Transformers right there. That's the show building for Transformers. Um, that is a motion simulator ride. Uh, good grief. Escape from Gringotts is motion simulator, but that's a much, that's a cool one. That's a really nice motion simulator ride. And I like Transformers um, and Spider-Man. You know, that's at Islands of Adventure. But uh, yeah, I don't know, man. It's like, when you're gonna spend so much money on a ride, why would you make another motion simulator? I don't know. Maybe it's a space issue. I, I just, I don't know. Wasn't impressed. Don't like it that much, but yeah. Now, one of my favorite things. Um, so there are a lot of good rides, a lot of fun stuff to be had at Universal. Don't get me wrong. I'm not gonna sit here and like just bash Universal all day either. Um, the mummy right here is, I think, way better. Oh my gosh, it's a convention. A convention of yellow shirts. <laughs> wow. Um, 
The mummy here, you guys, is like way better than the one in Hollywood. It's amazing. It's there's a lot more to it, and it's more, more, more better constructed. <laughs> it's, it's much more uh, fun, I think. But there it is. There's the Revenge of the Mummy, right there. You walk in there. Um, it's a little different on the outside. It's more like you're on a Hollywood set uh, as you go in the ride. So you see the the PAs and everything. They're the ones that are like being cursed and things like that. But that being said, you know what I think I'm gonna do? And I wish I could bring you along, you guys. Maybe I can at least show you the queue. I'm gonna single rider this bad boy, because this is a lot of fun. I like the mummy. Um, oh, now look at this, look. I don't know if you can see the sign, so let me push in. Wait for it to focus. So all personal items must be secured. Cell phones, wallets, keys, loose change, hats. Now what Universal here does, is you can go rent a locker for free for like it's it's usually based on the length of time that the nearest ride is so it's a 35 minute wait right now so the locker you'll probably I'll probably get for like an hour for free so you can throw all your stuff in there and uh, yeah so I'm gonna do that so now that I think about it I won't be able to film the queue because I won't have this camera on me but I'm gonna do it I'm gonna go have a little bit of fun. I wish I could take you guys with me though. Well, that was a ton of fun. <laughs> Wait, I didn't do it. So I go walking again to the single rider line and you guys, it was like easily 45 minutes to an hour for single rider. And look at the main line, 35 minutes. So yeah, I'm not gonna ride it. <laughs> and that, that'll that happen sometimes. Like single rider doesn't necessarily mean it's gonna be a shorter wait. So be mindful of that if you ever do single rider. Now at Disney, like Expedition Everest, I've never done single rider and it wasn't much shorter than the normal standby line. So keep that in mind. Now I will tell you guys this. This is really cool. Um, at Universal, they have Express for their lines. It's called an Express Pass. I think for the day it's like 60 bucks. And it's basically Fast Pass. So um, yeah, it's expensive. I know with my annual pass here, I have the second best annual pass. There's one that's better that allows me uh, unlimited express as long as it's like after four o'clock in the afternoon. So I plan on upgrading that at some point, but it's like 150 bucks. So it'll be down the road. Look how cool this is, you guys. Oh my gosh. Let me push in here. It's Optimus Prime. <laughs> so amazing. I like the show building here for Transformers. It's cool. It's really, really cool. But, okay, so there's two things, two directions I can take here. Um, I can go left, or I can go right, which ends up taking me around to the left. And um, Diagon Alley is right back that way. That is Diagon Alley. And I'm gonna end by going that way. So I think for now, Let's go right. So I wish I knew like what the what the areas were over here. Like what I could call each street and everything. But I don't. There's like so that's the street I told you. So right right over through there, that's where Terminator 2 3D is. So hopefully that helps you get your bearings a little bit. Ooh. And look down this street. I gotta push in here. Look at this. That's awesome. You can meet Megatron, you can meet, um, wow, that's super shaky, sorry guys. Megatron, Optimus Prime has been out there. I think I saw uh, Bumblebee once. So that's fun. There's a lot of fun character meet and greets and stuff. Um, hey, let's go see. So there's the horror makeup show. And the next showing is at one o'clock, it looks like. What time is it? Oh, we got half an hour, so I think I'm gonna skip it now. Uh, that's a fun little show though. They, it's similar to the, the old soundstage show at uh, Hollywood, if you guys have done that. But, um, you know, they basically show you how makeup is done and they, it's audience participation and there's surprises. It's a lot of fun. It's a good show. Now this is another fun little thing here that, um, that Universal does. Inside the, that media center right there, 
it doesn't look like anyone's out here. Normally there's people out here, or sometimes there's people out here greeting you with clipboards. And if they pick you, you can go on in and you can watch usually an hour long pilot episode of some new show on NBC, give your thoughts on it, and you get a free gift card for like 20 bucks. So that's worth it. That's, I think, anyway, an hour, hour of your time for a $20 gift card so you get free lunch at Universal. Why not? If you have a family and you're here with a bunch of people, maybe not. <laughs> Let's see what's over here. So we got E.T., Fivel's Playland, A Day in the Park with Barney, The Simpsons Ride, and Men in Black. Simpsons and Men in Black is that way. E.T.'s out over this way. Um, you know, E.T.'s fun. It's just, it's just weird. <laughs> it's a weird ride. That's it right there. Um, yeah, I don't know what to say about that. I like it, I guess. It's just, it's a dark ride. And the beginning is better than the end, I think. Because at the beginning of the ride, you're, it's just like the movie. You're running from all the feds, and E.T. makes you fly, and you're on a bike, and that's all fun. But then you end up on his planet, and I don't know. It's weird. It's fun. It is fun, but it is weird. And right there, there's the animal actor stage. I can hear the show going on. Next show, it looks like, is 1.30, so I missed this one. But now, I'm going to show you the fun stuff. Look, 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 look at this! You guys know what this is? Come on, movie buffs. Where are you at? The ELB. I know David knows. <laughs> that is the actual picture car that they used in Back to the Future 3. At the end of Back to the Future 3. That is Doc Brown's time-traveling train right there. And uh, a picture car, just so you guys know, that means that's the actual ride vehicle or actual vehicle that they used during the production of the, the movie. So that right there is whether th this might have been just a model that they used in a couple shots or that door might have opened and that's where uh, Mary Steenburgen and um, Chris Lloyd were standing with the, with the kiddos. So I don't know. I don't know to what extent it was used. And then look at this, look at this. A DeLorean! <laughs> This is super cool, you guys. I see these from now on, you know, from time to time. Never with all the actual time travel stuff stuck on it and the flux capacitor and everything inside, which let's see. Oh, it's, it's foggy, but you can see it. It's in there. <laughs> but um, this isn't an actual picture car right here. So this is just, just one that they, they created after the fact. But still, to have both of those right here, that's a lot of fun.